Hey, welcome back to History at Home. Today we're doing a special video because for a long time I've been receiving comments asking questions like, what kind of tools do you use? What are your preferred methods of cleaning coins? What camera do you use? And today I'm actually gonna answer a lot of those questions by walking you through my current ancient coin cleaning setup and just kind of touching upon some of the tools I use, maybe some of the methods, and hopefully this will prove useful and maybe give you some ideas or some inspiration about tools you're missing in your setup. So let's start out by talking about the actual cleaning kind of area. And of course this includes this camera here that has a lens that can magnify the very tiny coin down here with pretty high definition on this screen here. This is actually a new camera that I picked up at I think the end of last year. Uh, you can see the brand name here. I'm pretty sure it's just a generic Chinese brand. They're pretty common, there's a lot of brands, and there's probably even better ones now. I'll place a link, of course, to everything in the description below. But so far, you know, this has proved to be definitely good enough for my needs. Like, I do most of my cleaning looking at this screen here. So that's really cool. And also, you know, you can record on it, obviously. So I get my main angle for the videos through this feed. It also has two lights here, should you want to use them but you have to plug them in separately, which is kind of weird. I like to keep like some paper towels below the actual coin surface because, you know, if I apply water or I'm blowing off dirt that I scrape off, I want to be able to kind of clean the coin right away. Use this side to clean it after I've been scraping. To talk about the tools I use, I think it's best to go in almost a chronological order because finding a tool to clean a coin depends a lot on the actual coin itself. This coin, for instance, is going to need slightly harder implements to get through the super encrusted dirt on there. Whereas a more sandy coin might just need a light scrape to reveal the patina. So the first tool I really started to use to clean ancient coins was, you know, just blunted needle tips. You know, these are really good for getting through all kinds of deposits because it's metal, right? So it's harder inherently than any dirt. But that does come with some downsides. You can damage the coin and often just by cleaning with these you are kind of damaging the surface of the coin with microscopic scratches. But you know, I've really been trying to find tools that employ kind of softer materials that won't actually damage the patina or at least damage it less, right? That's the goal. But before I go to those tools, I want to touch upon some other classics that I've been using this cleaning set from eternalromancoins.com. I've been using this for years. Uh, it's really good. I mean, there's a lot of products like this. One of which is these Kranz A Andre. These are a good product. I've used these as well. It's, it's pretty much the same product. There are slight variations though. He does have harder uh, tips in there. There's a fiberglass one, a scraper. Different products, but very much similar kind of vibe. So this metal scalpel tip scraper, I really like because I can use kind of the flat scraping side here to loosen up a lot of the bigger sediment before I use a finer tip to get the details. So this alone makes the set worth it, I think. In Andre's cleaning pencils as well, he includes one that's actually slightly finer. So both of these are great to have in the arsenal. Probably the most intense kind of tool that I will ever employ is this diamond tip needle here. And this is kind of a patina destroyer, so it's only to be used really, really carefully. And I only use it for very specific kind of jobs and details where I can't get through with anything else. I've been using this less and less because I find that it often comes with collateral damage. You can buy these from a bunch of different manufacturers. They're all kind of the same. And you can also get a variety of tips, you know, and replacements that you can add in here. So, you know, use this with caution because you can destroy a coin pretty easily if you're not careful. Now let's talk about this interesting tool here. It's a tool I've been using a lot actually, and it's called the composite cleaning pencil, as you can see. And what's really cool about this is that it works literally like a pencil. You know, you can load in kind of a tip here of different types, and then you can literally extend that and keep sharpening it, sharpening it. And as it dulls, you just sharpen it like a pencil. Now cleaning with this pencil can be a slower, more patient process because you're not using something as hard like metal. But it actually comes 
with two types of tips, which is really cool. So the manufacturer recommends that you start with the white kind of fiberglass cleaning tip here. And it's pretty fine. This reminds me almost of like a fine paintbrush that's been coated in glue, right? It's really good for super fine scraping. Pretty cool. And you can, you know, also sharpen that as you go. And then you can load it with this fresh black composite tip if you want to get even finer. And just like a mechanical pencil, you just kind of push it in. Boom, look at how sharp that is. I love these. So again, link in the description below. They have a bunch of other cool tools and kind of ancient coin cleaning products that uh, are fun to look through, including this cool little 3D printed coin holder stand. I use this sometimes when I'm doing some wet cleaning. I put it in you know, a Tupperware with water and I'm able to hold the coin there and, and scrape away while the coin is submerged. So that's cool. And of course, ever since I used these on that video where I attempted to clean a coin just with thorns, I've really kind of been hooked. And <laughs> I actually ordered some more because I go through them pretty fast now. They're a little bit more resilient than normal toothpicks are. And the thing is, they don't really damage the coin at all. They will break before the coin breaks, which is great. And you can find them online or in a park near you pretty easily. So now let's talk about the final stage, you know, of the tool set, which is preserving the coin after you clean it. And this is a pretty easy one because what I use right now is Renaissance wax, which generally comes highly recommended in the ancient coin cleaning community, right? This stuff is classic. It's this micro crystalline wax, kind of goes on like a, a clear kind of putty or a polish and you use a soft cloth and you apply this to the coin surface pretty evenly, kind of just smear it on thickly. And uh, you can let that dry, you know, for a couple minutes and then you buff it out and, you know, polish it. And once you do that, you know, once, maybe twice, maybe even three times, the surface of the coin will take on a more polished, shiny kind of look. And in addition to aesthetically improving the coin, this actually will protect it too because it forms a seal around the actual old patina, you know, a very, very thin seal, and it'll prevent it from being affected by environmental factors like oils from one's hand or just even pollution in the air. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope this has proved useful, hopefully given you some ideas. Let me know what you think. If you have any suggestions, what tools am I missing? I'd love to learn more. And as always, feel free to subscribe. I have some really cool coin cleaning videos coming out soon. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.